In the roaring era of motorcycling, where the open road beckons with the promise of adventure, enthusiasts find themselves immersed in a myriad of thrilling pursuits. From the sleek cruisers to the adrenaline-pumping sport bikes, the world of motorcycles is a tapestry woven with diverse passions. Amidst this symphony of two-wheeled marvels, a breed of riders stands out, the fearless adventurers known as Adventure Touring Riders. These intrepid souls, fueled by a relentless spirit, embark on epic journeys astride specially crafted machines, pushing the boundaries of exploration. You've seen the spectacle of the Long Way Round series, where Ewan McGregor and Charlie Boorman embarked on a transcontinental odyssey from London to New York. Roaring across Europe, Northern Asia, Alaska, and Canada, their BMWs carved a path through the unknown, captivating the world with the allure of uncharted territories. Yet the spirit of long-distance motorbike touring is no recent phenomenon. Cast your mind back to 1903, when the first daring soul crossed the vast expanse of North America on a motorcycle. Fast forward to 1913 and witness the audacious journey of Carl Stevens Clancy, the New Yorker who circled the globe on his 1912 four-cylinder Henderson, conquering terrains from Scotland to Japan. By the roaring 1920s, European riders, armed with heavy sidecar outfits, undertook audacious trips to the far corners of the Middle East, India, and Australia. These pioneers, backed by motorcycle makers, aimed to showcase the ruggedness and reliability of their chosen brands, leaving a trail of dust and legends in their wake. Venture back 75 years to an electrifying moment at an English dinner party in London. Picture a young Harvard and University of Vienna graduate, Robert Edison Fulton Jr., declaring his unconventional plan to circumnavigate the globe eastward on a motorcycle. A chance offer from a Douglas Company official provided him with the means, a 1930 Douglas T6 model, equipped for the journey of a lifetime. Fulton's epic 17-month odyssey unfolded through 22 countries, a captivating tale of resilience and discovery. From the sandy wastes of central Turkey to the mystical landscapes of Syria, Jordan, and beyond, Fulton's journey was a cinematic exploration of cultures on the brink of transformation. His route, meticulously chosen for its architectural and cultural wonders, offered a glimpse into a world in flux. As Fulton navigated the challenging terrains, he chose not to rush, but to savor each moment. Armed with a 35mm movie camera, he documented the changing landscapes and the people he encountered, creating a visual feast of a rapidly evolving world. Picture the scene as Fulton traverses the Arabian Sea on a tramp steamer to Bombay, spends months exploring the vibrant tapestry of India and Pakistan, and faces the tumultuous, earthquake-ridden landscapes of Sumatra. In short, I was abandoned to myself in a no-man's land, between Bulgaria and Yugoslavia. I could go one way, the motorbike the other. At the Bulgarian border, the sentry resolutely drew a line on the ground with his bayonet. Woe betide if the motorbike dared to cross it. The discussion went on for hours, on and off. Towards sunset, the traffic was increasing and finally went haywire when a cart overloaded with hay arrived. Anything would have been preferable to a night out in the open in the middle of no man's land. And what certainty did I have that the next day would be different? With a roar of the engine and off like lightning, I headed straight for the Bulgarian guard. I was ready for martyrdom. The sentry jumped away and, incredible but true, not only did he not shoot me, but he gave me a big smile. A lieutenant also arrived and wished me a good trip. After all, hadn't I already crossed the border? What was the point of fussing? Apparently, they were fervent believers in the fait accompli theory. His journey continues through Malaya, Siam, Indochina, and China in a relentless pursuit of discovery. As he conquers the muddy roads of southern China and rides through Japan, escorted by the Kobe Motorcycle Club, Fulton's odyssey reaches its zenith. 
His triumphant return to New York on Christmas Eve of 1933, after covering 64,000 kilometers, marks the end of a chapter in the annals of motorcycle history. Fulton's chronicle, One Man Caravan, published in 1937, stands as a testament to a bygone era, a world now vanished yet immortalized in the pages of his adventures. The accompanying video, Twice Upon a Caravan, narrated by Fulton himself, captures the spirit of a man and his faithful iron horse. In the end, Robert Edison Fulton Jr.'s journey transcends time, offering us a captivating glimpse into a world of daring exploration where the roar of a motorcycle becomes the soundtrack to a life well lived. Robert Edison Fulton Jr. was a true motorcycle adventure pioneer from a long lost era. Upon his return, he went on a lecture tour of the United States, showing his film footage and telling of his journeys. He was also a skilled inventor, having several notable aviation-related inventions and approximately 70 patents.